All right, the guys that were limited today were Cooper, Dobbs, Valentine, and Wilson, and then Lloyd did not practice. Matt, was that a plan with Lloyd, or did he have some sort of setback? No setback. He had two good days, and, uh, you know, it's just part of the process. Did you say Dobbs? What is his hand? Yep. You said he might be problematic for a receiver. Why don't you catch with your hands? You should sure. catch with your hands. We're, we're encouraging catching with your hands here. How do you deal with what you got the, on the offensive line with all the starters back except for the, the one? Just how do you feel about how, the, how they came along during, during camp and everything? Yeah, I, I feel really good about it, and now it's time to go play, and I can't wait to see us against a really good front, against a really good defense. So it'll be a great challenge for us, but I'm, I'm uh, excited to see how our guys will respond to that challenge. Matt, what jumps out to you about Jalen Carter, just kind of the rookie season he put together last year? Yeah, he's a freak. He is a freak show. Uh, he can do it in the run game. He can do it in the pass game. Um, that freak is a term of endearment. So, um, but he is, I mean, he's an elite level athlete. He can do anything uh, out there on the field. So I, I think he is certainly, there, he's going to keep improving. And I think he'll, he'll be, if he's not already, one of the premier um, defensive linemen in the league. Going back to running back with Wilson limited, is there some concern there that you're going to have enough healthy backs for Friday? There's always concern when you have anything like that. But, um, you know, he had a good work day today, and so we're confident. Matt, what's the plan for tomorrow? Because normally you would practice two days before a game, and instead you're traveling. So what does all the logistics look like for getting ready for the Eagles? It, uh, so we got the plan in. Um, and tomorrow we will get on the plane and fly to Brazil. And that's pretty much eats up the whole day. And then what do you do on Thursday? Will we, will we just have a walkthrough type thing? Or? Yeah, we got, a, we got a plan. We got a plan in place. I feel confident about it. How much did you learn from London two years ago? I know you're not going to the same place. And I know it's yeah, I think this is a lot different um, in regards to because you're, you're you're essentially going to stay on the same body clock. And I think that's an important part of it. Um, obviously, leaning on our experts here in terms of what, what are the best practices, what do you need to do um, from hydrating to eating meals to the recovery. Um, these guys have researched and talked to a lot of people, and I feel really confident with our plan and, and what we're going to do. And you know, the circumstances are the circumstances, but it's the same for both teams. And so you just got to deal with it and appreciate the opportunity, which I think our guys will. Um, this, is a, this is a great stage to be on. We're going to be the only game on in the world. Um, and you get to go do it in a, a place that's never been done before. So it's a great opportunity for our guys to go out there and show what they're all about. Having it that first, the opening week, rather than in the midst of the season like you had it last time, is that any more preferable or does it matter? Are you talking about having it week one versus week five or whatever yeah. it was? Uh, yeah, I think there's some advantages to it in the fact that we're playing on a Friday. Um, so you'll have, by the time we get back here on Saturday, the guys will have all of Saturday and Sunday to kind of recover and, and recruit, and then we'll get back at it on Monday. Do we have permanent captains? No, we do not have permanent captains. Kind of just going week we, to week. Will, we will see. What do you do on that long of a flight? How do you occupy time? Will you have maybe even have some kind of impromptu or not impromptu meetings on that? Yeah, we we we, we had the uh, strength coaches organize and come up with and devise a workout plan. So we're going to be running up and down the <laughs> aisle of the plane and doing having a push up contest. Maybe I don't know. We'll keep it interesting. Also do that. Huh. Did that, didn't he? Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not uh, no. The guys will just relax, and they'll have an opportunity. Obviously, you got a lot, a lot of time to pass. I'm sure we're, we're leaving pretty early, so I'm sure part of that will they'll nap a little bit, um, and then it's an opportunity to kind of 
really dig at the details, watch more t tape. Um, you know, our, obviously all will all be accessible. So if guys need to brush up on some things or have questions, we'll be available for them. And um, but it's for the most part, you're just going to be flying in the air. What kind of pack said that? I know you guys have the narrow kicking goalposts. What, um, is that the day just show up here this week, or what? When what made you decide to get those rather than, or after, not using those the previous few years? I feel like we have been using them. Oh. Okay. Hey Matt, um, there's been a multiple Eagles players now that have spoken out about this trip. You guys have not. Are you pleased with the way they've kind of stayed on message? And not well, you guys it? haven't talked to them yet today, so we'll see. I just think, you know, like, like we talked, like we're focused on Philadelphia. The circumstances are such, and, you know, if, if you draw your attention elsewhere, then I think you're doing yourself a disservice. So we're going to keep our focus on Philly. It's a, a really good football team, and they've, they've shown a level of consistency over the last couple of years that, that's tough to deal with. So they got a lot of star power over there. They've added more players this off season um, added Vic Fangio. That's a big, big ad for them. Um, Kellen Moore, guys that I got a lot of respect for in this business. And so it's, it's a very tough opponent. I'm not trying to be a jerk about this. And I know you're in a tough spot with the league and everything else that's going on. But when you have players expressing reservations about a road trip, you don't hear them do that about when you're going to Detroit or Chicago or whatever else. So what has been your approach with your players? If they've expressed any concerns at all, do you just talk it through and say, hey, it's a business trip? Or what's been your approach with them? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we just tell them what it is, and here's what we're here's our plan. And um, But I have not heard our guys complain about it. And it's just the circumstance. So you just you got to make the best of it. Yeah, I, I think our guys are truly excited. To There's been a lot of work that's been put in from the end of last season to now. I think they are excited about the opportunity to go out there and compete, you know, in front of the world. So is that another way, like Steve was mentioning, as opposed to London, the fact that it's the first game of the season, maybe that helps deal with the inconveniences? It, yeah, sure. Um, I think they're, yeah, I think they're excited for the 2024 season to start. To start.